the Hickory Museum of Art was an integral part of my childhood. This year, the museum turned 75, and I wanted to see how it's celebrating its birthday and evolving for the future. So I met with John Carfagno, the museum's new executive director. What's the best way to experience a museum? Well, that's a great question, and I think the most important thing to do right off the bat is to forget the idea that art museums are just places where pictures are hung on the wall. For instance, with this painting, one of the things that attracted me to it is this idea of, well, why is the tree glowing? And then if you take the time to read the panels and immerse yourself in what the exhibition designers are sharing, you actually learn that Dangerfield is a great transcendentalist thinker. And the trees are glowing because he wants to show the presence of God the Creator, divinity pouring out of them. And for you as the viewer to experience that in a way that is better than your eye would normally see it. Why did you choose to focus on Elliot Dangerfield? Well, one of the things that attracted us to this exhibition was the lessons that it teaches about creativity and how it happens. So Dangerfield first visits Grandfather Mountain in 1886, and he falls in love with the landscape. And the paintings that we've been looking at prepare him as much as possible for what will become one of the great creative challenges of his career. And that is, how do you capture the, the magnitude of the Grand Canyon and all that happens there. So there are some lessons that he's able to apply from his painting at Grandfather Mountain, and then there's also a lot of problem solving that he needs to do. For instance, how do you capture the play of light across a different type of rock? And also, how do you portray the scale of what happens at the Grand Canyon? So he learned how to do this by painting the Blue Ridge Mountains. For sure, there are elements, uh, for instance, the mist, the clouds, the sunlight that he was painting there. But here at the Grand Canyon, everything is amplified. So you also have plein air painting for kids. Yes, and this really lines up with our mission, which is to bring people together and inspire creativity through the power of art. So we wanted to have a space after people had seen great art to actually create their own. And so what you're looking at here are examples from some of the really talented kids that have come through this space Erica Holland of Huntersville brought her children to Hickory as part of a homeschool lesson. So what have you guys been doing in the museum? Uh, and we started, we were just walking through the exhibits, but I try to make sure that they had a chance to interact with the art, to kind of appreciate it at their own level, but to also create on their own and see themselves as artists and see themselves in the art here. In addition to Dangerfield, the museum has an extensive collection of folk art with more than 200 objects on display. There are also activity stations, touch screens, smells, and sounds to experience. One of the things that makes Hickory Museum of Art so unique and so special is that for a museum our size and a community our size, we have such a rich array of some of the best American art that's ever been created. The Hickory Museum of Art is at 243 3rd Avenue Northeast in Hickory in the Salt Block, and they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Elliott Dangerfield exhibit runs through April 20th, followed by an exhibit from April 27th to August 8th of Blue Ridge Realists. For more information, give them a call at 828-327-8576 or go online to hickoryart.org.